Okay, well, I am gonna continue, but I can tell the, I can tell the story. Okay, so. I haven't been completely honest with you guys. So, and the story does not end with me getting laid, so don't even, don't even go there. When I say I haven't been completely honest with you, I mean when I've said that I've only talked to one real person as a result of online dating. There was actually a second. There was actually a second. So, this girl hits me up on Plenty of Fish, right? And she's like, hey, what's up? How, how you doing? Or whatever. I'm like, hey, what's up? There's not really much in your profile, so uh, I'm just going to ask, like, what about my profile led you to messaging me? She's like, oh, I just love, I love your dog. Your dog's awesome. The 12 Nepamuk. Thanks for seven, dude. Welcome back. So, we're talking a little bit, and this girl's fucking retarded, man. Like, she's so, like, she's so bad at texting, it's so annoying. So I'm like, all right, you know what? It's like the first person I've ever fucking talked to on a dating website. You know what, let's just, let's just roll with it. So, I asked for a number, and we started texting a little bit. Maybe she was nervous. No, she, she, no, just trust me. I don't like anything about you, but your dog is cute. Yeah, exactly. So, I just, it, it's kind of hard to describe. Like, she just didn't really seem that interested, but like, was throwing around compliments and winky faces and shit. I don't know, it was just really, it was just really weird, you know? So, maybe, this was probably like, a week and a half ago. Maybe two weeks ago. Max. Anyway, about four or five days ago. So she was interested. Chill the fuck out, Peasy. Just chill the fuck out. Just chill the absolute fuck out and listen to the story. Stop making assumptions. You have no idea where this is going. So. About four days ago, she turns the conversation, like, a bit sexual, right? She said she's been, she had a couple margaritas, she's been drinking too much. She sends me, like, a picture of her, in, like, her underwear, right? She looks alright. I was like, oh, that's nice, you know, whatever. And I, you know, I kind of reciprocated a little bit to that. And she was like trying to get me to send her pictures of me and stuff, but I didn't really believe this was a real person yet, because you know I had no reason. <laughs> I had no reason to believe that it was. So whatever. After that, we didn't really talk too much. <clears throat> this was four days ago, I think. And it was just kind of gentle back and forth, you know, what are you doing? Oh, I just got back from work, whatever, you know, just whatever texting. So last night, and this is where it gets good. <laughs> last night, right, about right after I ended the stream, maybe 20 minutes after I ended the stream, I get a call on the phone, right? From that number, from this girl. And... You know, three or four years ago, I would not have picked that phone up. I don't know. It's like, you know, what the fuck? I'm not trying to have a phone conversation right now. But I've, I've changed a little bit. And so I pick up the phone. And a deep manly voice picks, is on the other line. And he's like, is this, uh, is this Kyle from, from the, the Plenty of Fish site? Or something like I don't know something like that I was like yeah that's me <laughs> he's like well <laughs> I just need you to know that 
Yeah, you've been making sexual advances on my daughter. She's a mentally disabled 16 year old. And my wife's about ready to go down to the station and turn this phone in. And get you arrested, send you to jail for life as a pedophile, son. <laughs> so. I'm still on the line. I'm still on the line. I'm just like, what? <laughs> That's what I said. I said, what? He said, son, I'm an understanding man. And my wife's ready to go down and turn your ass in. But, you know, I, I just, I just want to get your side of the story. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm, I'm an understanding man. I'm a Christian man. And I'm not, not going to be having any, any of what I found on that phone up in my house. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna need you to start talking, son, and, and 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 tell me why I shouldn't go down with my wife right now and take this phone in to the police station for what you said to my daughter. I'm like, dude, I don't know how old your fucking daughter is, man. Like, her profile said she's 21. Like, what do you want me to say? Your mentally disabled daughter. So, he goes on and on and on, and he's just being, like, really threatening and, like, fucking, you know, trying to get on my side and stuff. And then, he's like, alright, so we got two options here. I can hang up this phone call and, and hand this phone to my wife, and we can go. This story's BS. This happened to me. This happened to me last night. Or... And you know, my, my, my daughter, I'm never gonna let her hands touch another phone in my house again until she's old enough to buy one for herself, but until then, I have to disconnect this phone and, and you know, if, if, if we're gonna go through with that, and he started just like that, if we're gonna go through with that, I would feel comfortable, you know, if, if you just paid the disconnect fee on the phone, I, f I feel like we could square this away and and put this behind us. And this is, and this is where, you know, I already kind of knew, but that's as soon as where I knew. I'm like, so you're telling me a disgruntled father who is mad about his daughter sexting some fucking older guy is gonna put it all behind him because of a phone disconnect fee? That's what you're gonna go for? So I said, yeah. I said, yeah, sure, that sounds great, man. That sounds great. Uh, I think we can, I think we can cooperate with this. He's like, and you can, you can hear him get a little excited, right? So he's like, and you know, uh, I feel you should probably pay for the cost of the phone, too. Uh, with the disconnect fee, that'll probably come out to be about $500. And I'm like, <laughs> all right, sure, man. And he's like, so how are we gonna do this? How 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 is it, how are you gonna pay? And I'm like, oh, uh, well, can you give me your address? I'll send you a check in the mail. And this is where he drops his act like completely. He drops it, and he's like, <laughs> ain't nobody used a check since the '90s, son. <laughs> Just like. Straight up fucking drops the dad act, like, instantly, as soon as I mention the word check. He's like, oh, you know what, son, I hadn't even, you know, we're, we're making this deal, but whatever, I hadn't even run this past my wife yet. And so he's like, let me, let me, let me get run this past my wife. I'm like, sure, dude. And he fucking, he walks away from the phone, and then I, I, I hang up on him. <laughs> And then, like, two minutes later, I get a text, like, You don't pick up the phone right now, motherfucker! Your ass is going to jail for life! All this bullshit. <laughs> I, I just did that whole section, like, I don't even remember any of it. So, yeah. 
<laughs> you have terrible luck with online dating. Dude, what am I supposed to do, man? Like, I tried. I tried. You should have listened to the link for your stream. No, I'm not trying to give him any personal information, man. Amazing story upload to YouTube, please. Yeah. I Snapchatted you my face during that story. Okay, good. <laughs> I'll check it out. <laughs> you got trolled so hard? I mean, I got trolled a little hard, but like, I realized what was happening, you know? Like, some people would have been freaking the fuck out. Any luck with the ladies? Shut up, I just, I just told the whole story. <laughs> you clipped the pedophile part? I'll probably put that on YouTube. Don't use plenty for together, dude. I use the fucking every site I can. Yeah, we can put that on YouTube. Can I have your snap? Yeah, if you're a sub and you want my snap, just send me a Twitch or a Twitter message and I'll give it to you. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. I could see someone falling for that. <laughs> Almost as bad as the Digimon. <laughs> Outcast made a dating profile for me and got some girl to message him back, acting as me. <laughs> Outcast found out she liked Digimon and not Pokemon, and he's like, "Whoa, this is a uh, this is over." <laughs> Never talked to her again. <laughs> That's what he's talking about. He's like.